So this album was a really important album from Griselda. Mock Homies out of the group after dropping one of the best, if not the best album with the label up to that point. And in comes Benny the Butcher, Westside Gun, and Conway the Machine's cousin. And regardless if they wanted to admit it or not, he needed to replace the talent of Mock Homie. On top of that, this album also set the groundwork for my favorite Griselda album and my introduction to Griselda, Tana Talk 3. So let's get into it. The whole trust game. Griselda. This beat sounds way more southern influence than East Coast influence. Cars in the chain. It's all fun and games. Tell your dog run your name. See, they don't want to talk about the scars and the pain. But I tell you anything to keep y'all entertained. I never told nothing. Never coughed up a name. Got my paperwork on the wall in a frame. Are you talking that talk so far? Behind bars in the cage. Almost cried when I seen Kiera cross in a stage. He's still going with this same rhyme scheme. It's a tough four syllable. These bras is the same. Regardless of fame, my squad's still the same. We say it's a family, but they call it a game. Is it because my click be moving with clips and shooters? He's just now changing the rhyme scheme. Still a four syllable. Still a four syllable. Versace kicks the shoes, come with Medusa. He did something real subtle too. He didn't switch his rhyme scheme until he changed what point of view he was rapping from. So he was using that first rhyme scheme and he was talking about his past and trying to get on being in prison. And then he switched the rhyme scheme when he was talking about present day, when he was talking about the money that he has now. Never heard of me? Shit, you probably live in a hole. Real niggas never worry about getting exposed. Got my first brick and my first lick was a zone. My second joint, my only problem was getting at home. I saw song, the beat was mid, but the rapping was good. The beat was just a really generic trap beat. And Benny doesn't sound the best on that either. I guess he's still finding it out at that point. His rapper was solid throughout. He had really good storytelling. The four syllable rhyme schemes pretty much throughout the entire verse. I really enjoyed him taking that first rhyme scheme for, man, it had to be 20 bars or so, maybe 24 bars. Benny was tough. I hope the production don't sound like this for the rest of the album. Let's get into my struggle. And every day I want to pray I like the keys in the background I hope it comes in the forefront the streets that got to me and I can't let my first break so I gotta keep this for my niggas on parole and they're not a jail my little homie caught a body million dollar bell stick up with an empty gun that was my first lick first tape saran wrap that was my first break I had my the rhyme scheme then is clean on this song so far I let some niggas get too close. I like the production better though, for sure. They hit the crib, I flushed the work and had to pawn the chain. I knew I might need it for that the day I bought the chain. The hood love it when I pull up off the box of game. But I don't know who why now, so I don't talk the same. With this tech shooting hot, you don't want to catch it. I clap it off to pass it off like I'm the son of magic. Let's get something established. <laughs> Do I want to get canceled or not? The son of magic is EJ, so I don't think that bar hit like how he wanted it to hit. Alright, so the beat was better than the first beat. I think the rapping was pretty good. I think the rapping on the first song is a little bit better than on this song. Especially if you compare in that first verse on this track. I think his imagery was good throughout. The rhyme schemes are a little bit cleaner on verse two, especially how he opened up verse two. I ain't gonna lie though, when Benny joined Griselda, the first thing Westside Gun should have did is, hey Derringer, this is my cousin Benny. <laughs> like, <laughs> that relationship should have been formed immediately. But let's keep going, this is Tom Ford Sox with Gun and Conway. I don't wanna talk, you get your shot. I'm the big kid in my city. Here we go. Sheen gun on my left titty. Streets consumed us. Little homie love to grip his rugas. He's 17, tough. but he been a shooter like Dennis Schroeder. Niggas threw shots but couldn't shoot well. They shot and missed. I'm Popovich. My shooters move well without the ball. That's Catch tough. and shoot. Draw That's play to execute. Full court pressure, nigga. SE forever. And then he's still going with the scheme. I'm robbing that. Solid verse. He ended it well, though. I don't want to talk. You get your shot. They say it's two ways out the game. Bullets melt your flesh. Or catch a sentence in the 
it change you like your Malcolm X. I slide through my toes, yep. sparking on a close target. We put an address on the beef like we the post office. Like trying to sell this last half of That's brick tough. and gold corporate. Now, I hope the Democrats steal the election from Trump. You gotta bathe in holy water, let it touch hey. your face. That <laughs> nigga was prophetic with that one. He know they was gonna storm the Capitol though. You gotta bathe in holy water, let it touch your face. Touch your the face. bottom of her shoes red like she crushing grapes. Crushing grapes. <laughs> I turn the scale on That's and slick. then I cut the tape. King Griffey Jr., I was touching base. Yeah, so it seemed like at this point, Benny was more comfortable with these thumping, not on eyes, even though he was on past Conway and West Side Gun albums and sounded fine. It, with that more typical Griselda sound. I will say this song here definitely did have a more Griselda aesthetic from West Side Gun on the hook. Conway's verse had a couple of witty punchlines in there. And then the sample itself sounds something more like what we would hear from Tana Talk 3 Benny or what West Side Gun or Conway. But yeah, Conway had a pretty decent verse. Benny had pretty solid verse. Overall, pretty good song. This is Dirty Needles with Conway again. Where I'm from, niggas is fool, let's they pick up a tool. I even got it on me when I pick my kids up from school. Shit, <laughs> I get them shipped to your living room. Won't call, I bet they touch down and then why? Just like Victor Cruz. Got the beef new, but the pistol used. I like the that. Screw. Stick it through the window so long, they think it's a bro. Like it's my town, don't get shit confused. What? You gotta misconstrue, none of us rap tight. Rapid fire with his three syllables. Fuck you niggas chasing if it ain't a bag waving mags. Twenty niggas with me wearing Haitian flags. My homie told me turn the pot down before I break the glass. Oh, he got my homie with him. Powder smoking sour from Jamaica Ave. I watched the whole brick take a bath. I seen the dope boy make biz money and still take a cab. Dope money buried like a Jimmy Hoffa walking out of Benny Hanna's Coco Mabalissi. Storytelling is fire on this song. Shit off for fifty dollars. Half a brick of raw white as Cindy Lapa. Look, I know what you really copping. You, know, you rap the shit. I'm um, rapping a brick. Look like I'm Millie rocking. <laughs> That's sick. Trap, stick niggas up. It's way too many options. Best verse on the album so far. Several witty punches on there. I like that three syllable that he had in the middle of the verse that was just rapid fire back to back. He mixed in a few four syllables to start and end the verse too. That was a sick verse. Facts is known, pussy nigga. I don't ask for loans. They want to build my statue in Rome, and that's for rap alone. Don't get it confused, bitch. I will put you on the news quick and use your news clip for a new skit on my new shit. Oh. SK Lungs is a pool stick. Uh -huh. Rizel the bitch, that's how we do shit. <laughs> All right, two dope verses from Benny and Conway. Benny definitely had the edge just off of the punchlines, but Conway, his rhyme schemes and flows were really solid as well. That beat was just serviceable at best. They made a weird choice with the mixing. They had that sample really quiet in the bass, just drowning out the sample. I thought the sample was decent enough if you could actually hear it. But yeah, the beat was, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling these beats at all. Uh, this is All I Know with Low Pro and Rick Hyatt. This is some demo quality mixing. Making it rap though. Making it rap though. I don't hit the brakes, something wrong with the ropes. Right. Right. He can't move the weight, something wrong with his shoulder. Yeah. Slam with it. You win, you know the hate come along with the Cobras. Just as well as they come along with condolence. Good verse from Benny. The B had potential, but that mix was not good. It's interesting, though, that High's verse wasn't that good to me, but he sounds more at home on a beat like this. Let's get into 762. Yeah. Derringer. <laughs> we got Derringer. Fame, we only came for the bread. Told my homie it's a bonus if you ain't for the head. You point a gun at him, he gon' say that ain't what he said. Plus the clip in the longest Will Chamberlain leg. Lost a hundred clips, hundred straps, none of them legal. Tell on your brick and C4 under your ring. Or everything hey, sold is scripted. No shooting out with them guidos. We go to weddings and got on vests under tuxedo. <laughs> you the type to get your shit took. Everything is tough. I'm the type to get your shit pushed. The runner Toledo was like I was still in the hood serving fiends like CVS. 
a bracelet on my ankle, that's a GPS. They ain't beat me yet, fans still ain't beat me yet. James Bond hopping out that ass. That GPS bar is fire. Life way deeper than bars and hooks, paws and rooks. This shit really hard as it look. If these walls could talk, they tell you how to roll. Like this chess imagery. And how we got to be stars from crooks. My first brick. Hey, I needed a Derringer produced track. I think that was the best song on the album. On Derringer standards, that beat was just autopilot it wasn't a crazy sample just that guitar lick i do like the lick itself it sounded really watery and some standard drums but benny sounds so much better on that type of production even though the beat was super minimal that put the focus more on benny's bars and man the rapping has been excellent on this album so far the imagery on these two verses in particular were really good he had a couple standout storytelling sequences like the that's on under the tuxedos, the house arrest bar. So far this album's giving me a similar feel to Devil's Reject, the first reject by Come With The Machine where he was rapping on these more mainstream type beats. The difference here though is Conway was rapping on popular beats at the time and it had much more of a mixtape feel. Benny's rapping on original beats but it's still not his lane that he ended up developing over the course of his career. But that said, Just Like With Devil's Reject, you can really see the talent and see the foundation. Uh, this is Just Like Rome. Streets? Nah, I'm just kidding. Not a country, yeah. it's an empire. Uh, fell back. Outside of the like clap, I, I like the speed. Back. Playing in the game, different from the vocal sample is pretty dope. City a lot of effects on it. From under a mattress. Pitched up. Hey, go, we got a stick, so it come with attachments. It ain't so play your part, make your moves, but be razor sharp. I'm from where they drop out of school, but still get laid in chalk. This is a dark place. We come from humble beginnings. Just means we wouldn't have it if we ain't hustle to get it. Ain't it's called it. the streets. They get in and then fuck up your system. Uh, Cause the pain you have been through start numbing your senses. It's yeah. gotta be the most believable cult rapper. Everything's so vivid. You know what? I've been on these beats, but I see the vision on that one. Like, if you use your imagination, that beat was tough. I don't know who was mixing this. That clock was trash. And I also don't know why it was mixed so high. But, like, if you can just picture the beat without it being there, that beat was kind of tough. Look, I'm doing my best. I'm, I'm a glasses half full type person. But the rapping here, once again, fire, imagery, fire. And it was only two minutes long, so it ended before I could get annoyed with the clap. This is MFB. Six. This why I do chosen few TCS That's why I fuck me. I'm still ten toes My down, nigga. Break. Yeah, nigga. Woo. Uh. The producer on this joint is NY Bangers. This nigga bought this beat off YouTube. That beat was about 30 bucks. Go. How you get knocked due time and tell. What the fuck? They gave my silly 10 years for a gram sale. My next up. case. This nigga beats produced by Fiverr. Spitting on the judge, I'm a wild in court, slide on us. I bet this you beat is kind of a banger, like I ain't gonna lie. Got classy bitches, she don't smile oh, at all. Oh, he didn't pay for it, he just downloaded it. It still had that producer tag in it. Vibe at all, and nasty bitches. Poor robber song, snip a pile of royal Salvador. Bricks of powder raw, stuffed inside the door. Bro, who's in my Promised all my dogs still behind the wall. My first break, my first break, my first break. Why did you just say so? My first break, 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 my first break. Yo, I told you. I told y'all he bought me my first dollar. My first break, my first break. My neighborhood filthy, east side. Bro, you got this beat off in one banger's dot com. The judge said I'm guilty. Bro, Benny. Benny. No, 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 no. 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 This is not even a producer tag. This is like an audio watermark. Bro, what is Man, ain't no way. I don't know how Gun gave the stamp of approval on that. That's, that's unacceptable. That sounded like it was straight off of a demo. The rapping wasn't bad, though. The beat actually wasn't that bad. I just have no idea how they didn't quality control that. Give them a better beat, something. Pay for the beat and get the watermark taken off. Something. A YouTube to MP3 converter probably should have a production credit on that song. This is three missiles with 38 special Conway. Extra long clip that big shoot a whole two minutes. So go ahead, tent your whip like we don't know you winning. Tell me fuck you going through when your options fail with block from hell, bills coming in your pockets frail. You know what the fuck we did? We had rocks for sale. I had to grind. I got my family used to lobster tails. And if you, when it's time to go, you gon' pass it a pop. What else? I still got a ratchet and mask in the closet. Hey, yo, I caught the beat like with that low verse. mileage. I heard being broke why people don't get acknowledged. 
I sleep with an Ethiopian goddess. She helped me count the money, then she go get the product. And I've been like this since 2002, counting through a million dollars, chilling in a fountain blue. Hate when niggas say what they about All luxury to do. talk, but I rock really with it. Wish they had the same house as you. 38 didn't have his signature real heavy punch lines, but he had real Chris Rhyme schemes. Nice luxury talk. Let's hear Conway's verse. Drop the devil's reject. They think I worship Lucifer. Nah, I'm the god, but the flow is getting stupid. Yeah. I just want my niggas. I like that open. You ain't seen better gunslinger since Aaron Rodgers. Poor dog walking like the king called so put all six bullets in the same Torso, okay. uh, break, break down the cane morsels. Wig shot close range to do your Morsos, brain all flow. I brought the grimy back, stay out of my lane. I promise I put a hollow tip inside this of the brain. Verse. Ever since I got it popping, shit has not been a game. Rap nigga come to my city, say goodbye to his chain. That song's tough. Toughest song on the album so far. Just like with 762. Benny sounds way better on a Darren you produced track. I also think the beat was better here than it was on 762. All three guys did their thing. I think Conway's verse easily stood out as the best. He came out barn. He had a couple witty really punchlines in there. His delivery was emphatic. I think the beginning of his verse slightly overshot the end of his verse, but still overall, his verse was tough. I think Benny had the second verse in there in 38 Spesh. Thought he had the third best verse, but his verse was still solid as well. Overall fire, best song on the album. This is Bible on the coffee table. I got front of that half a brick. You told me that was his last. And he kind of in some shit, so we need that fast. I thought about it, picked up the phone. I did the math. 55 a gram, sell him for 90. That's 20 cash. I inspected his gangster. He respected my hustle. Every time I came through the cop, I was buying double. Had it. It's bad timing. And that's going to hurt. Hurt down to my last 10. And I owe him 30. Fuck him truthfully. What would you do if you was me? You would I took a bigger loss, sing like I bought jewels and sneaks. I, I know the line and lay low. Lay they low. kept goons with me. My nigga. That's how a day on the east side usually be. I see pictures on the wall, Bible on the Yo, that's tough. Table. That's tough. Bible on the coffee table. Storytelling is sick. Bible on the coffee table. Sick. Bible on the coffee table. Come on, man. That song is gas. That song is fire. I think Benny really teased the storytelling throughout this album and the payoff was this really in-depth story. The imagery was excellent. I liked the production as well. The piano sample was dope. Probably could have changed out the drums, but it wasn't an issue on this song like it was with some of the other songs. Yeah, I, I like that song a lot. This is the last song, Prayer Hands. The legal system love to see a young nigga fumble. And all my city is is just a young nigga jungle. They get it how they live. I watch them young niggas hustle. Bob and weave like I leave. Rumble, young nigga rumble. And that was hard. You don't sound bad on the pitched up soul sample. I like this production over a lot of the production on this album so far. Ain't nobody. So far, like this ain't the last song. Talk to me. I was sick of filling up on hot dogs and pork and beans. Caught a dope case, paid a lawyer, and he fought for me. Niggas try to argue me that hot dogs ain't struggle food. Come on now, y'all hear the bars. <laughs> like niggas shouldn't be choosing to eat a glizzy. Ain't that spiritual, but I'm a walking miracle. We used to be poor for dinner, we ate cereal. When grandma died, I miss you, but still cherish you. Cried in front of my whole family at the burial. But guess we all sinners, hot colder than four winners. That headband cush kept me higher than four cylinders. In my city, it can never be personal, all business. And that four pounder twist you and bend you like car fenders. I got pain in my heart, cocaine in my thoughts. Blatantly glorifying how I played with that fork, I was a sh Two sick verses to end the album. I think the production here was solid. You know, the pitched up soul sample, that's not my favorite aesthetic, not for modern day rap, but I think Benny still sound pretty good on it. So dope song to end the album. Overall, man, Benny's talent is clearly there. His rapping is excellent. You know, on a scale of one to 10, the rapping here is an eight or a nine. His rhyme schemes were really dope start to finish. He mostly plays with four syllables. If he plays with a three syllable or two syllable, it's going to be rapid fire. And he's throwing, you know, six of them in over the course of two lines. His storytelling is phenomenal. I, I think the storytelling on that song, Bible on the Coffee Table, phenomenal. And then even those smaller, you know, two bar stories or two bar images and pictures that he's painting, all dope. I think the issue is these beats is hard to get through. Those southern trap beats, that's just not his lane. And this album came out when that spacier sound was coming in and people were leaning more towards 808s as opposed to like the thumping 909s. I think those were what the drums were used in those first few songs. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong. Then the beat on MFB, they must have put that song on there by accident. I don't know what's going on there. 
But overall, you can see the foundation and how this turned into something like Tana Talk 3. A few songs I will come back to, but other than that, just an album that I'm glad I experienced, glad I got to hear. But most of the enjoyment is because you just get to see a precursor of stuff that I like a little bit more.